One of the selling points of Arco Linux is that we can actually build our ISOs and that's the website arcolinuxb.com. We can build your own ISO. And there are many, many tutorials about how to achieve things that you say, I have a personal repository or a personal package, or I want to include another repo from Chaotic, for example, 4,000 packages that can be installed extra on the ISO. So also the future system. So ideas, what ifs, and it all starts here, build the B form, build your own ISO. So we're making videos about how to build it. The Arconet is just created. So next up is the Arco Pro, where we get the information from or the data or the, well, the configuration is from here. This is the GitHub. And you can start reading if you don't know what Arconet is about. It's very educational. Repositories. We have a look. Let's reload. That's not nice at all. Voila. So we have here three things that ends in ISO. And those are the three ISOs. That's it. And all the rest is three Calamaris configurations, the app, and four packages. With that, and of course, all the rest of the Arcolix packages, we have, we're set. So Arco Pro ISO it is. You need to reload it again. Nicer. And then you go for grab this thing, click. Go here, go here. Let's go to the desktop, which has already a previous installation or previous video from a previous video. Git clone, that's something to get code from the internet. Control Shift V. So I don't need to type all that. Super Q. And then we open this up. Let's do it like this. Control Shift 1, 2, 3. Two, one. All right. Control Shift in Thurar. Open terminal here is not what we want. Take a look around what it all all this is. But basically, it's a way to build an ISO. And here is some information. Here is some information. You can add something personal to the ISO. So anything you put in here is gonna go to dash or slash better. A personal right every computer for, of ours has a folder that nobody else has personal what's personal well <laughs> literally it's your thing and you can put in here whatever you want configurations packages music videos I don't care right it's gonna be on the ISO personal okay so that's interesting you have installation scripts. That's probably where we need to go. And this is everything you need to get going. You can also have a personal repo because yeah, it, then everything becomes of course a little bit more difficult, but it's all explained, right? It's all personal, Chaotic Keyword, Nemesis repo. It's all explained, the extra bits. But in this video, we're gonna keep it simple, right? We want to build a new ISO with a new kernel with some packages that we're going to remove, some packages that we're going to add, and that's it. So the only thing we really need to know is packages x86.64. The thing in the beginning is coming from Arch. And of course, if you choose an editor, choose whatever editor you want, but use coloring. That makes life so much nicer. Plus, everything that's gray is not gonna be installed. That's an important thing, right? Anything that is gray is not gonna be installed. Anything that we put a hashtag in front, I don't have a Broadcom. Why do I need the driver? Okay, so this is the reasoning you should do. Control Z, Control Z. But my advice, stay clear of this little bit here because that's Arch Linux. Arch ISO package. Yes, we've made some decisions down the line here, but stay away from this if you are a beginner, okay? If you know what you're doing, all good. You're not gonna install for NVIDIA, it's gonna be an issue. I would just keep it, it will be removed anyway, right? So my 
advice is the fun starts here software from arch linux repositories anything that you can install with sudo pacman minus s can be added so if you want to have chromium add chromium so let's go, go down scroll a little bit and say okay i'm into gnome i'll install gnome so why not install all the rest will be installed anyway part of gnome but if you if there is something in here that is not part of the package gnome or the package gnome extra you should select it so you should add it so stuff in here a lot of stuff that we don't use at this particular moment in time so it's a very minimal setup but yes we want to have a cursor and yes we want to have icons Alacrity is there downgrade is there neofetch is there paru is there so things there are lots of lego blocks basically that you can choose from the internet from arch links from arc links from reborn os from chaotic os from uh, garuda from 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 right and you can build your own these are all configurations if you don't like our configurations you can remove them it's as simple as putting in hashtag in front of it you're never going to use linux lts um, again not sure what the calamars will do it might help because of course in calamars we say go copy paste things and if it's not there it's gonna be an issue right so you learn by doing things like that my advice is change one thing build change one thing build change one thing build if you change 10 things and it fails yeah which one was failing you have to do it all over again right just an idea okay so stick to the programs that you know that's the best advice i can give you i say okay the silver searcher I'm never going to use this thing don't know what it is okay look it up first ah oh, yeah it's that oh that's interesting keep it or don't so it's just an hashtag in front of it what i'd like to do is um maybe add something from chaotix aor if I, I don't know if i have enabled it but if it's enabled chaotic aor that is because we have in pacman a line of code chaotic aor which means pacman knows what's on there if it knows what's on there it can use pamac manager for example to have a gui i don't know i have still installed it pamac manager or octopi or something like that and you can walk around the repository chaotic aor this is all that's on the chaotic aor i just wanted to show you with a slider that the slider gets smaller right we're at f and you know your alphabet there are more letters than that so you can really scroll down and then find something that oh yeah look they have that particular app that Arclinux doesn't have, that Archlinux doesn't have. And you say, I'm going to install that. Okay. Doom Runner, what's that? Doom Runner, it's all somewhere. Doom Seeker, Doom Runner. Modern preset oriented graphical launcher of the Z Doom and der derivatives. <coughs> Try it. Let me know if it's good. <laughs> okay. So all you need to do is know the name and say okay i'm gonna write it in the list and that's all there is to it die harder random number test you jesus like four thousand packages i mean right who knows them all the builders probably so add more stuff to it flat remix is something from chaotix aor as the test we have these two packages i wonder about the colloid so if a package is removed on Arch, Arco, Garuda, and Devro as chaotic you are, then Pacman says I can't find it and the script stops. That means if the, the package is no longer there, put the hashtag in front of it again, right? It does not exist, but it can't find, can't build, and everything stops. So, time to build our package. We go to one level up installation scripts so chaotix repo is enabled is true 
That means it's going to add that particular extra. Celtics repo is true. That thing will end up behind pacman.conf. And if there's a personal repo as well, it will be added as well. So change this. If you have your own repo, if you are that far ahead in learning about Arch, then great, right? Personal repo, true. All right, build. There you go. We're building the pro version. Check out if there is ever, if everything is okay. There you go. Flat remix is not from us. We don't have flat remix. How do you know that? Pseudo Pacman minus s flat remix. I looked for a package that we don't have and never will have. <laughs> Otherwise, the videos will be wrong, right? It's not from us. So where it's coming from? From KL to KOR. Anything that you add to the list down there coming from KL to KOR will be added. And that's the power. Build your own ISO with one of the or all of the 4,000 packages, right? I wouldn't advise the last one, <laughs> but just the thought. Let's wait for everything to finish. What can I say about this going on? <clears throat> there are warnings in there that are just warnings, so whatever, right? Um, there also can hold the, the script, can hold and stop. Mostly it's because of Pac-Man not knowing what to do or packages are missing or there are uh, conflicts between packages. Anyway, if it ends, the script will of course end and say, well, the ISO is there and there, but of course there's no ISO because it was midway stopped in the installation or the, the, the building. And you have to scroll up, scroll up till you find the first error. And it's that thing you need to figure out. If indeed there was no package with that name because we made a typo, we're human, we're gonna make typos then you change the typo right and then say oh yes that package is it's with the extension git and not bin or something right and um, that's a good fix and if you still can't figure it out why or or then you just give us a screenshot with flameshot is one of those great tools where you can say i'm gonna select something i'm gonna write something hello right and then you point to that mistake and then ask us on Discord, hey, can you assist? What's happening here? Okay, you can save it, you can copy to the clipboard or you can just dismiss. That's a good idea. And let's wait for the ISO to pop out. At some point, the script ends hopefully right otherwise again scroll up look for the first error the last lines doesn't mean do not mean a thing scroll up so if it's successful you'll see this line and then you go to home eric arco row out your own login of course and you see these things that's the thing you're gonna burn on the iso that's the one that's the check and it's also a check and a checksum and all that this is of interest what did I decide to put on the ISO? What will go on the future system? My system. That's why we're doing this, right? Build your own ISO with, for instance, Firefox, Vivaldi, Chromium, Spotify, Minecraft, I don't know, right? Go ahead, go crazy, build it, and then you say, let's try it out, maybe in VirtualBox or VMware or Q, Mu or what else, right? Anything virtual and then, okay, it's good to go. And then you put it on the real metal thing and enjoy. Keep it around on the shelf, messed it up, the code, okay, reinstall. That's gonna be your personal preference, okay? We did chain, we did add the flat remix. Let's find the flat thing, there he is. So it's gonna be on the ISO, and I think the other one is called colloid or something like that. Colloid cursors, there you go. They will be available to select in 
whatever desktop you're gonna choose later on. All right, cheers.